Julia and I'm working on journals this week. I have been experimenting with tea dyeing, the paper that comes from composition books. For several reasons I wanted to try the composition book paper and I'll touch on that a little bit. This is a time consuming process but I'm loving the results and I wanted to share with you. There's a couple things that I really like about using composition books and the obvious is the price. Uh, my Walmart store now has a composition books for 88 cents which is really pretty cheap paper and another thing I lo really like about it is when you when you open it up to the very center you can see the stitched lines let me see if I can zoom in here just a little bit here and what's so cool about that is you can take like a little seam ripper and you can just kind of work your way underneath these stitches and you can completely remove the pages. So the pages will be long, the, the full length, so the, and, the, and the, of course the lines will be going across. So when you're making a journal that's a little bit larger, you are still able to, to put pages in it that, that have the lines on it. Um, so it, it really helps a lot when you are um, working with different sizes of journals and I don't some of my journals are a little itty bitty and some of them are a little bit bigger so it works really well to have the larger piece of paper with the lines going all the way across and so I wanted to show you this is a pack that I have just freed from the book cut the little strings and it's freed and this after I key dyed is what I have. Let me see if I can even zoom out a little bit further on this. So cool. Look at the difference between the lined paper and the tea dyed paper. What I really love about it is you notice how this original paper has these bright blue lines? Well the, the blue lines kind of disappear and what's left is a very faint um, you can hardly see it, but it's a, just a very faint, faded pink line, which is just just really cool for an old vintage looking um, a journal. And I love the size too. They just get crinkled, and they just get. I mean, this is this is a, about as many pages, and you can see how small this is in comparison to this. So I'm going to show you the steps and there's so many videos out there that show how to tea dye. So my, my way is probably not any different than any other way and I'm going to go through it quick but just give you some ideas of how I do it. Okay, I have my oven preheating to about 250 degrees and I have some tea that has been steeping in this pitcher. I put probably 10 tea bags in there and then just pour boiling water over the top and just let it sit for a good 15 minutes or so and then you, it's pretty much ready. Um, I, I use just a 9 by, 13, 9 by 13 pan for this particular paper and, and, and I keep it folded and I have probably three sheets in here and I just let this sit and soak for a while and this water turns or this tea water turns really combos blue green because that that blue ink on those lines of that composition paper completely disappears and just kind of runs off and so I do have to change the water quite often I usually only get um, two different batches of paper soaking in here and then I change the water I change the it into more tea water um, and so this is the first step and I'm going to probably leave this sitting here for oh probably five minutes or so and then we'll be on to the next part. Okay, it's been sitting in here for about five minutes now and I just it's really fragile because this is wet paper but what I do is I just slowly bring it up and let as much of it kind of drip back in as I can get to drip back in. I have a couple really old seen better day towels laying out here that I will um, just kind of place the paper on that. Now I find that I don't really think this is a very, you know, different color. It, it doesn't have that real dark brown color that some tea dye papers have. But when I hold the stuff up that that's new, you can definitely see a difference. And the lines are pretty much completely, the blue line is completely gone. And 
my water kind of looks looks like it's got a blue tinge to it so what I do next is I carefully um, open these up and I take a, a layer at a time and I put it in the oven on a cookie sheet for probably about two or three minutes it doesn't take very long before them to be for them to be completely dry and I'm peeling this bottom layer this seems like that's the one that's wanting to come loose and I'm going to stick it on my cookie sheet and I'll show that to you here the cookie sheet pretty much exactly fits that this is a seen better days cookie sheet also don't use your good stuff this is one of my project cookie sheets and just lay it, lay it on there and stick it in okay it was in for probably under five minutes I'm thinking more like three to four minutes and it is perfectly dry and crisp and just nummy looks old just exactly what I wanted for my journals and I don't think there's a quick way of doing this you pretty much have to bake them a sheet at a time I do use two cookie sheets um, in at a time but other than that they have to be single layer in order to get the crispness on them so I hope that this inspires you to um, tea dye paper and make some journals it's really a lot of fun thanks so much for watching bye